I was right and I didn't even know it. Wow. We're going to jump in and talk a little bit about this. Um, but, you know, first, stick around to the end if you want to know a little bit more about I'm going to talk briefly about my real estate course that I'm rolling out. Super excited about it. But I'll do that at the end because I want to jump right into this content and share this. This is a huge deal that people don't seem to be recognizing. I'm even talking about experts, but I'm going to show you why it's apparently a much bigger deal than maybe anyone realized. This in both these articles that I'm going to cite and, and reference, I'll put the links to them in the description so you can check them out for yourselves if you haven't seen them already, but they're both from the end of March. And so this one, I've highlighted the part I want to talk about. Now, this is all related to the China 6B emission standard, which in July, July 1st of 2023, this was set to take effect and it would be the most stringent regulation standard and requirements for anyone globally. And as we see China positioning and looking to pivot away from ICE, that's internal combustion engine vehicles, and going into the new energy vehicle, the NEV space, I, this is one of the reasons that I picked NEO, because I saw that China made it very clear they're going in this direction long term. I didn't know when the major shift or these major pivotal points would take place, but I did know that I had structured and, and was looking at this as a long-term play. And so I was just kind of like, all right, let's see how it goes. This is where we've we've got some now a little bit of data that's telling us this is a big deal, folks. What what was set to happen? So yesterday, the Driven reported that the China Auto Dealers Chamber of Commerce, the CADCC, posted an article on March 23rd on WeChat saying that dealers could be left with hundreds of thousands of non-compliant sellable petrol and diesel vehicles once China's new emission standard is implemented in July. And then later the article was deleted. Did you catch that though? Hundreds of thousands? They could be left with hundreds of thousands. Okay, now hang on. Let's jump over to this other one. This article from CNV Post. Um, and then also they're referencing, uh, looks like March 23rd, the CADCC again. Since the beginning of the year, the CADCC has received feedback from many auto dealer groups that they are under significant pressure to survive because of the impending full implementation of the China 6B emission standard. A study covering nearly 100 auto dealer groups showed that nearly 98.89% of them strongly recommended that China delay the implementation of the 6B emission standard until January 1st, 2024, according to the CADCC. Hey folks, we're talking about over 90%. True, it wasn't a huge uh, number on the market research side, out of 100, we're talking about 98 roughly percent lobbying against this. These folks are not ready for the shift. They're not ready for the change. And what does that mean? The way I look at it is you've got about, what, 2% of companies like NEO who are ready for it. And that may be exactly why the CEO for NEO and the CFO both were so confident in NEO's ability to get sales and deliveries up so much this year in 2023. I referenced this before in a video, but we hadn't had this data come out yet and we hadn't seen. And, and when I see that there is this strong of a lobbyist against the change, cause they're just not ready. I'm thinking, wow, this is gonna have a much bigger impact and probably already is by the way, price wars in China. How much of that was actually related to this, right? Inventory, if there were gonna be hundreds of thousands of vehicles, that these companies were going to be stuck with, well, yeah, of course they're desperate to sell them. So this is a really fascinating dynamic, and I'm not seeing a lot of folks talk about it, which is exactly why I wanted to cover it here on the channel. If you know me, you know I kind of like to do a little research. I'm a nerd like that. I also like to wear my hat backwards and my super comfy uh, sweatshirt that's it's just real comfy. Uh, anyway, I want to talk briefly and, and end this uh, uh, highlighting the, the real estate course. That's what I did for a living, for those who don't know. I did real estate for a living. I was an investor um, and, and really enjoyed, I just enjoy deal structure and breaking things down and having fun with making money with real estate. Uh, and, and so I'm, I haven't been excited about the market, but I've seen it start to shift and now I'm getting excited. And there's a reason I want to sort of get off the shelf and get back into the game now. So with that, I'm going to be offering a course. It is not going to be cheap. This is not a get rich quick course. I don't want to do anything like that. Um, but I also don't know how many people, and I, and I have a great following, a, a lot of incredible global supporters 
here on the channel. And so I was kind of like, man, how am I going to do this? Because I'm only going to, I'm going to cap the number that I offer. I'm not going to offer this for everyone, but knowing that I'm going only going to offer a certain number, I'm like, all right, I don't even know what the demand is going to be. And so let me know, drop it in the comments. Have a great weekend. Happy Easter, everyone. We'll see y'all again real soon. Thank <laughs> you.